Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we got Preacher Dan chilling in this 32 Ford. Glug, 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 glug. Jimmy might be MIA again. Uh, there might have been a vacuuming incident. Today I wanted to have some fun. I wanted to chop up something, make something unique. I wanted to make a front engine beetle. But I saw a real one on Instagram and I thought, you know what, that thing's pretty cool. We should make that thing. We're going to take the engine and the grill, especially the axle setup, obviously. But from here back, I think we're going to do a Volkswagen bug. So we're going to make a little hot rod today. So let's get started. This body we're definitely going to be able to use on something else. For sure. This is going to be our beetle. I know it's a, it's a nice one, but... I just picked this up the other day because I needed more beetle bodies. I'm gonna need these little baby wheels for something else too, so there's a couple reasons why I'm doing this project. Let's see. I think we should leave a little bit of meat in the front. Somewhere like this. So we're gonna have to fill that in and make it solid and build a firewall. A little bit of the front as well, like this, I think. This will be going on there. Let's do a little mock up here just to. Get an idea what this is going to look like. How about... I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work out. I'm not sure if we should leave the running boards or not. We'll have a look once we get a little bit better idea. Obviously we're going to have to remove some of this engine. We got a little pipe heading out the back with these little bumperettes. We're going to custom smooth the whole back of this beetle. Make it look a little bit more custom. Maybe hide the seams for the fenders and definitely kind of round out the back. So we got our new front end. We're probably going to line her up right about there. It's going to extend our front wheelbase a little bit. I needed a nice little fun chill video like this or it's not, we're not doing anything too serious here. We're just having a good time, you know. And we're going to be putting this together just like that. We should have our engine problems fixed. It's hard for me to visualize the next step of the project when we still have these classic 50s bug colors on here. So I'm going to strip this now, get this down to bare metal, and then we will proceed as normal. Before we strip, we'll do one final little mock-up here. Hell yeah. I'm just going to trim the back of this base now. All right, we got the back end deleted. So that it's gonna fit just like that, and we're gonna fill the body in. Gonna make a big custom rear end here. And I should be able to just blend those in with a file, make them disappear. Really not going to notice it once I put in the putty. And we'll get all the body work done up in the back here. I think I'm ready to do some stripping. Everything metal has been scuffed. So this shouldn't take very long at all with our new stripper. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Yeah, right, that's got a really good coating on there, so I'm just going to give that a couple minutes to just chill and do its thing. 
Looks like the stripper's lifting the paint this time. So it's just gonna be another couple more minutes and I'll have this stripped right up and we will continue this project. Got the majority of the paint off the car now. These are a little bit tough to strip. These premium line Hot Wheels always give me trouble. So I'm just cleaning this up with a little pick to get anything that the stripper missed. Give this a good scuff with a scotch bray pad just so we can see where we are at. That's a good looking little body. Now that all this paint is removed, I wonder if this trunk lid's going to fit better. Eh? Not really. Kind of still looks like it's out there a little bit. Maybe we'll do a little bare metal mock up here. It's definitely unique looking. I think it's going to be sweet. All right, we could get into doing a little bit of body work. I think we could uh, mix up some putty. We'll finish the front of our firewall here and then we will custom out this back end a little bit, get all these little holes filled and we'll just have that nice kind of California rear end on this thing. I just made that up. I don't know what a California rear end is on a bug. For our filler, we're gonna use the high heat and JB quick weld putty. This is an epoxy putty. There's two parts right here. One part's gray, one part's yellow. The yellow is in the center, so all we gotta do is cut off a little chunk of this, mix it up, and we got a good putty for filling things like that. So here's our little chunk here. We gotta just cut the weenie wrapper off of it. And then I'm gonna grab a little teeny little shot glass full of water and we're gonna just moisten our fingertips and it's gonna make mixing this a heck of a lot easier because this is gonna want to stick to everything got our little finger bowl here we can give this putty a good mix So now we got this nice and tacky, we're gonna go ahead and just fill this little rear end up. Got this on there really well. Just gonna fill this whole front up with a nice little square of this. I'm gonna leave it pretty thick. Like that, we're just gonna leave a big block on the front end like that and we can make whatever we want out of it. Beauty. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry for about uh, 15 minutes. We're gonna come back with the knife and start trimming away all the extra and we'll really shape this into a nice firewall, etc. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Our putty's starting to harden up. It's not 100% solid, but it's the perfect time to start trimming. You'll see it cuts pretty easily if you're doing this. Doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to work out just great. This isn't going to hurt my files. It might just clog them up a little bit, so I will have to clean. This is where we just take our time. Use the sanding sticks. We'll make sure that back end just flows nicely into those tail lights. It's looking pretty good so far though. All right, now we're gonna break out our little diamond burrs. We're gonna do a little bit of trimming. I'm going to cut out some of the firewall so it's going to clear the frame rails. That's just kind of a rough guesstimate. It's not even straight.
Here we go. After a little bit of work, I got her fitting nicely again. Of course, we're using the hood as our post. So it all just comes apart like that. Yes, yes, that fits together just fine. Let's see what the motor. Glug, 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 glug. Beauty. I think that back end's gonna look real sweet once we uh, do a little bit more body work on it. But I'd like to get painting here soon. So get this stuff together. Take these out of here. Pimp, so we can paint this separate. This we are, I would like to get some color around this rad. If I could, that'd be ideal. Cause we're gonna have the air cleaner will be painted. Nice to get some color on that rad, some body color. Maybe we'll give this a shot. Sparkalescent Fine Wine 2. So this is normally like a 20 something dollar bottle of paint. If you shop around good, I got this for 350 on sale. And it was just this one color and they had like 20 of them. So what I was thinking we might do is the whole body, this purple and then we'll section off that 50s two-tone look and we'll hit this lower section with some of this color shift and we'll just have a flashy lower section on our bug yes yes i think that'll be sweet if i can get this mixed up enough you can just kind of see the effect of it in the bottom of the can there so this over purple, I don't know what it's going to look like. We haven't really put this over a good color yet. So hopefully it doesn't just look this kind of gray. We'll see. We'll see. But before we get to that, we got to do some finishing putty. So we're going to grab some Tamiya and my finger. We'll get a little bit on here first. Start with a dab and then go into the smear. And then you should be nicely coated. Dab and smear. Put on a generous amount down here. Give this a little extra so we can blend. That should be plenty. And this stuff dries up real quick. So we're just going to let this chill for a second. I don't think there's any other spots I need to deal with. Got most of our putty all smoothed out here. So just a good once over with the scotch bright. After I give this stuff a final rinse, I guess I will meet you in the paint booth. <laughs> all right, anything that's gonna go purple, we're gonna hit with a white primer first. So we'll do a nice light coat on everything. I got our little, everything's on its own hemostat at the moment.
And of course I'm going to do the two-tone with this flare color shift. We're going to go real easy on this stuff to see how much of that purple we can keep there. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. Give me a second to tape this off and then we'll spray it quick. So as you can see, I started doing an assembly already. It's just waiting for the body to finish drying. It's doing its thing. This interior is so basic that I'm probably not going to do anything with it. it. Doesn't even have a gear shift, so we're just going to leave that white, which is totally fine with me. Just, let me grab the body. Look at that beauty. All right. So here it is. Glee, 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 glee. Had to do the assembly uh, off camera. It was a little tough getting all the little pieces in there and everything situated nicely. What do you guys think? It still looks like Volkswagen, you know, from the back. Then up front it's like, oh my god, glug, 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 glug. I think it looks pretty sweet. I think uh, overall, looks pretty cool. I could see Hot Wheels selling something like that, I guess, maybe. Have a look at our uh, sparkly purple. It's cool, right? That door just adds a little bit of rainbow flare. So there we go, definitely a cool unit, one of a kind, for sure, for sure. Not sure what's coming up next week. Uh, hopefully a 118th scale, I'm going to try to work on it throughout the week and have it done for the weekend. So if all goes as planned, we will have one of those for next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one, guys.